pick on the goat house is back we are back here for week two picks every tuesday night we'll be here don't worry we got you covered there's your leaderboard at the bottom junior doesn't want to talk about it the giants game is where you went wrong not the panthers the Giants picking against the Vikings. The Panthers. Panthers. Panthers I, I made sorry. many mistakes. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just singling out the Giants for fun. The Vikings are going to the Super Bowl. Kidding. I'm just kidding. No, you're not. No, no I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. No, Darnold MVP. Just going to get full-on overreactions for week one. Yeah, do it. Why not? No, we're not. There's your X sub league prize league leaderboard. It's not too late to join that because the winner of each week gets to be a guest picker in the next week's video. The week one winner was Sir Random Guy zero one. He went fifteen and one. I mean, clap it up for that. Pretty He's got his picks right in here. There. He's got his picks in here tonight. But um, are are we doing it? Let's do it. Let's, Let's do just. It. Get into those picks, and here we are. We're into those picks. The Bills. Oh, that's a good one. The Bills Ooh. at the Dolphins. Thursday night football. The Dolphins are wearing those throwbacks, I believe. Oh, that, from my for understanding. That for that reason, give me the Dolphins. He's taking the uh, Dolphins. This should be a good one, though. Worry about A-Chan being banged up a little bit. Worry about Mostert maybe being hurt. But they got Jalen Wright. They're just loaded at running backs. I love me some Jalen Wright. Um... Bills, you know, came back in that one against the Cardinals. Um, just don't know if I'm fully in on the Bills yet. Like, I like the Bills this year, but a lot of, again, they got rid of a lot of weapons. They got some new pieces in there. I think it's going to take some time to build that that chemistry there. Mm. Mm. Dolphins got mm. the same skill group pretty much. The chemistry is there for the Dolphins, yeah. so I'm taking the Dolphins. I think that uh, they, they just, the to me, they seem like a Thursday night football kind of team. And it, I think this – Squeaker of the week. I'm going to lock it in early Ooh. this week. And uh, I was going to take early. whoever's home here I think has the edge. But I don't know. I think this – I mean, I can put my foot in my mouth. I did week one, but give me give me the Dolphins. Already has a squeaker. Uh, what is – who is uh, the guest picker going with? Sir, Randy's got the fins as well. He's oh, got the like fins. This. He won week one, so he's here picking. He went 15-1 and one last is week. Is that so. actually him? Yeah, I think it's a picture of him, yeah. Yeah. Um, Sir Random, going with the Fins. What's Yeller? Who's Yeller's, yours? Yeller's got those bills. He's got those bills. Uh, yeah, this should be a really good game. I feel like the games look easy this week to pick, but you know there's going to be surprises this week too. But this is one of the ones that are very tough. I thought the Dolphins were a little underwhelming last week, and they usually start hot. So, I'm, you know, which Dolphins are we going to get, even though they pulled off the win last week, although they got outplayed. Bills made a nice comeback. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm feeling the Dolphins at home, though. I'm thinking maybe they kind of look like the Dolphins I expected last week. I do think the Bills will play good. I think it'll be a really close game, offensive game. I am monitoring the injuries of Raheem Mostert and Devon Achan, though. If both those guys are out, because they haven't practiced yet, if both are out, I don't know. That's tough. How are you monitoring them exactly? I'm monitoring them. I don't know. I don't know how else to put it. Okay. I'm keeping an eye on that. Everybody should monitor the situation. If they're both out, we okay. may have to go with the Bills. Okay. But for right now, I'm going to go with the Dolphins. I think th they're going to play a little bit more like the early season home field advantage Dolphins in this game. I think the speed of that team, Tyree Kill especially, is going to be too much for those Bills defensive backs, the Bills defense. So we're going to go with Miami. Okay. All right. <laughs> You guys went there too. It was, yeah. it was just old yeller on the Bills, but both those Lone dog. both those running backs are out. I don't know. That's it's interesting. Next up, we got oh, when the Saints go marching in. <laughs> oh, when, when the Saints, Saints go, go marching. There you go. I was wanting you guys to join in. I mean, marching they went marching in last week. They had the biggest shellac and the biggest. They were the only team. They weren't the only team that had an ass beating. But they were the only team, if you follow us on Twitter, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But they were the only team that. Earned the rights at a snot pounding last week. It goes wow. ass beating and then snot pounding. They got both. They got both on Twitter. The Bucks got an ass beating. Uh, the Cowboys got the ass beating as well. I mean, they delivered it, I should say. Well, here's the Cowboys. So an absolute battle. Um, give me somebody. Give me their best Dak Prescott impression. I feel like he just does nothing. Here we go. Here That's we what go. I was looking for. I was gonna do it. I yeah. thought Junior was going first. I thought since he, he started talking. Too. Sorry. Give me your best. Here we go. Here we what? No. <laughs> no. Here we go. All right, you're fired. No, I'm, uh, give me the <laughs> Cowboys. Give me the boys. Um, um 
I mean, I don't really want to talk about the Saints because I'm still upset about the Panthers, and we'll get there. You had the no car thing going. I mean, I was I felt so good about I, that one. I bashed the Saints. I was like, they're going to be down. Now there. we got no Dell. No, no Dell. No, it's a trap. Don't fall for it, Pete. Yeah, I was bashing the Saints, but uh, impressive Week One victory. But I'm still going with the Cowboys at I'm home. Still going with the Cowboys. Uh, they're regular season champs, the Cowboys. Yeah, they are. Saints look good. They could be better than expected, but I'm not falling for the week one shenanigans. The Cowboys are better at home. They have crazy home field advantage. The Saints' worry going into the year was offensive line, right? Right, right. 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 They looked lights out last week, right? right? Right. They played the Panthers. Who traded away right? their pass, their best pass Who, rush. Yeah, and DJ Wanham was out too, right? right. So right. they they had the worst pass rush unit in football. Derek Brown also, he from the interior, got injured. Now they're going against Micah Parsons, Demarcus Lawrence, that Zimmer defense problems. The offensive line will – it might get exposed, but everyone pretty much does against the Cowboys, against Micah Parsons. The Browns did. They were missing some tackles, but that's a big matchup factor here for me to go with Dallas at home. So give me the Cowboys. Uh, what's yellow? Everyone's got? got the boys. Everybody's got the boys. So that is a guarantee. Even though the Saints looked really good, I know Saints fans are going to give us. They're going to give us some smack. Give it to us. Just give it to. Well, we could take it. We could take it. Um, and we're like, oh, you're doubting the Saints again? Yeah, they might win. Yeah, that's right? what they want. They might win, but at the same time, it's a guarantee. We can't really – Don't have to watch it. Yeah. Nothing we can do about it. Nothing that. we can do about it. It's, it's, our, it's, it's out it's, of our control now. What's done I'm, is done, all right? Yeah. That, that's it. Uh, but if the Saints if the Saints won this game, where you guys be you know okay here we here we go. Yeah. No. Saints are really I, marching I, in. I, no. I'd, I'd be marching in maybe. You'd be really marching in. <laughs> maybe. I thought you I'm said like baby. There. I thought you said baby. I'd, I'd be, be marching, marching in, baby. in baby. Oh, I'd be oh marching baby. In, baby. Oh baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit! We got the Bucks <laughs> and the Lions. Baker. Baker looked like the best quarterback in football last week. He had a day. Yeah, actually, the best quarterback in football. Smooth. Lions. A little bit too close for comfort in that game. You know, given the Rams' injuries, the Lions should have been able to escape that one a little easier, but overtime was pretty dominant. We'll give them that. So a rematch of a another rematch for the Lions of a playoff game. Bucks played the Lions pretty tough last time. Again, they looked really good last week. The receivers are good. The the Baker Mayfield's good. The Baker. Um, well, here's another thing, too. Everyone always used to say Junior looked like Baker. But last week in the comments, it oh, was don't bring this up. It was all Matt Patricia. That's it, just so rude. And that really bummed you out, right? I mean, it it really messed with me. For I'm still not really rec- fully recovered from it. To be you honest, you were looking in the mirror all every morning. Every morning, you I looked like in the mirror getting flexing? ready for work, and I and I saw Matt Patricia. Oh. And I, mm. But you're doing your workout still, though, right? Jillian, Jillian Michaels. You're Jillian Michaels. I'm on it. Did it this morning. And your eggs and oats. Uh, I didn't together. do oats. Just did eggs. Oh, just okay. eggs. All right. Uh. Let's give the people a pick here. <laughs> uh, give me the Lions. He's taking the Lions. For Matt pa- Patricia. For Patricia. For Everything Patricia. in me wants to take the ball. Oh, well, yeah, it's Baker versus, even though Patricia's not there anymore, Baker versus Patricia. Right, this is the personal. Wi- so if the Lions win, if you're right, you look like Baker. We'll say that. If you're right, you'll, you're Baker. If you're wrong, then you're Patricia, and you got to go harder. It doesn't make like any sense. go it's harder p- to look like him? I don't know what I'm talking about. I have no what, clue. Like, it makes no sense. Harder? What does that mean? Uh, I, 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 get, let's give the people some. What picks. does that mean? Uh, it means I'm. Man, the Bucks looked so good last <laughs> week. When I saw this on the schedule, I'm like, God, the Just Lions. Stop, were, the Lions were trying to do a little bit of different things. They weren't pounding the rock. I'm like, I'm thinking the Bucks, but the Bucks got beat up in the secondary. Winfield's going to be out. They're missing a number of guys in secondary. Winfield's one of their very best, a star player. Uh, I am going to take the Lions. But I'll tell you what, interesting matchup because the Buccaneers stop the run fairly well usually. And I know their secondaries beat up, so the Lions are going to have to throw the ball. I think they'll throw the ball fairly well. I think St. Brown uh, has a big game in this one, steps it up. I think Laporta plays well, and the running backs still will play well. But the injuries in the box, it being in Detroit, and the Lions having success, success passing the ball, which makes them kind of a two-dimensional on offense because I don't know if anyone really could shut down the Lions' run. I'm going to go with the Lions this one. It's a shame that the Bucks got beat up in that secondary because they looked really, really good last week. But they still could be good. Yeah, I'm going to say the same exact thing. <laughs> same exact shit. Just stole it all. I stole it. I took it right from them. Yep. Everyone's going with the Lions here. Everyone had the same thing. Oh, wow. Everyone was going to – everyone in my notes here – Everyone had exactly what you said written down. Wow. So. Word for word? Yeah. Wow. So I'm glad you got those notes. Um, 
I think my microphone's louder than everyone else's. So you notice that? I think you're just. I'm just shouting. You're just getting into it. Right I'm a little. Now. I'm in the red. I don't know. You guys. I, I'm there. You're there. Red. I think I'm in the yellow right now. Let me yellow. know in the comments if I'm just too loud, obnoxious. If you want to, if if do you want to punch this face right now, like let me know. Punch this. Face. I'll I'll work on it for next week. How do you uh, work on not having a punchable face? What? Uh, Wait. Do you do? I don't know. I wouldn't ask people that. No? Okay. No, they're mean. I need help in the comments. Oh! oh. Colts, Packers. Malik Willis. <clears throat> Malik Willis is starting for the Green Bay Packers. He was on the Titans a few weeks ago. He was a bust there. He can run. He sure can't throw, but he's going to a good place. Matt LaFleur, one of the best offensive minds in. He came from the Tennessee Titans as well, actually. Uh, connection, even though they weren't there at the same time. One of the best offensive minds in football. They have a really good team. Uh, the defense was a little off last week. I think the Brazil field had something to do with that. Uh, I, this team is so well coached that they could win this game against the Colts uh, because overall they're the better team. But if you factor in Malik Willis, maybe not. But uh, in it, for the Colts, it might be a little, <laughs> it uh, it might be a tough game plan dealing with Malik Willis because there's more there's more quarterback scrambling, more quarterback running, so it's a, it's a little tough. But I'm not going to trust Malik Willis at all in this game. I think it's going to be closer than probably people think. People will probably go, oh no, love it's Willis. It's going to be an ass beating. I it, I don't think so. I don't think so. But Steichen over there, former Eagle, Steichen. is going to see what the Eagles did offensively to that Packers defense, and he's going to use that. Jonathan Taylor has a pretty good game. I think Rich, Richardson was hot and cold last game. I think probably some of the same, but they make enough plays. They win the game, but don't be thinking this is free for the Colts. The challenging part is dealing with Malik Willis's running ability and not really having much of a game plan for that, so it should be pretty interesting. I mean, I think it's free for the for the Colts, and I'm taking the Colts. Um it's going to come back to a backfire for me. But, um, yeah, I think this is – Oh, I thought you had a hotter take coming or something. No, I was going to say something mean yeah, about I think the Packers, but I can't I think it's a pretty easy pick. Do. Colts look pretty good. Um, Even though they lost, they they, 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 they look good. Um, I mean, they gave up a lot of production. but Yeah. Uh, they looked they were explosive on offense. Uh, their D-line was getting after it. Their D-line had some – they got some good depth there, good rotational pieces there. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm a Titans fan. I saw Malik Willis, saw enough of him. I mean – Definitely, You've, he you definitely had enough too. Had enough. Had enough. He improved, um, but still, he's like kind of. He gets Stinky? like he gets like antsy, like in the pocket, and like he's got antsy. He like pants. he like gets to he like pulls the ball down and wants to run a little too early. Like he doesn't trust trust letting it go. Sometimes. Honestly, he's though, got a good arm. He's yeah. Got a really good arm. He's got talent. It's just mentally, I think he's. I don't know if he's going to be there with with the Packers offense for sure. And then again, like he's. Afraid to rip the ball in there sometimes, and then wants to use his legs maybe too much. Uh what's the bo- what's the boys got? Everyone's got the Colts. Yeah. Everyone, uh, another guarantee. A lot of these games you guys don't even have to watch this week. That's not fun. I guess I'm hoping we're gonna have some more that aren't guarantees. But what if the Packers win this game? Are you out on the Colts or, or are you I in mean, on I the Packers? Know. Are you? Yeah. I mean, the Packers got a good team, but it'd be something if they win. I mean, uh, I'd, I'd just be curious to see how they won. Was it the Colts turning the ball over? Was it Willis just running Willis wild? Just They're probably just score game. more points. That's normally how you win yeah. in the next. Oh, I'm just saying. That's why he's here, folks. Yeah. Why he's here. Uh, a reminder that the next video will be against the spread picks and score predictions. So don't worry. I got you guys covered every single week on Wednesdays. Next oh. game. Oh, the Jets and the Titans. The Titans. play. They, defense was great. Defense was great. And they completely choked. Oof. Completely choked. Mm-hmm. And the Jets look like shit against the Niners. But the Niners look pretty damn good. Uh, I'm, I don't trust the Titans offense or special teams. Special teams. I think the Jets... I was going to put myself Oh, in the you should do it. Uh, I think the Jets figure it out this week. I mean, I don't think they go crazy on offense. Titans defense, I, I think, is going to be the real deal. It's going to be a little tougher than playing the Bears offense. Sorry. But uh, maybe not that much. But uh, I like that defense. I like the run defense. I like the interior. Def- I love the interior defense line. I like the secondary. I think Garrett Wilson plays a solid game in this one. I wasn't thrilled with him or Brees Hall, the stars of the Jets, in week one, but I think they figure it out for the most part. Not, they don't go crazy, maybe, but uh, and the Jets win in a defensive ball game. But that Jets run defense looked kind of sus, so the Titans need to pound their two backs because Tony Pollard actually was running well on the Bears. They went away from it, though. Uh, and then Will Levis kind of blew the game a little bit along with special teams. Got to give a shout-out to the special teams. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the Jets are just a better team. I think in a defensive game, I'm going to trust the Jets to make that extra play. 
Um, <clears throat> I'll jump in here just because I we got to really take it to Pete. I'm taking the Jets. Um, I just take again, it to Pete. You can't give it to him. You can't trust Will Levis. I mean, it's tough. Are you done with him? Are you out? Do they need a new quarterback? No, I mean, I this is where it's tough because you don't really know what it is. It almost we had some pre video talk about this, but it almost seems like it's an intangibles thing. Um, there's just so some, the, like it would be like the opposite of Josh McCown, let's say. Right. Yeah. Exa- exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. There's just things you can coach and things you can't coach, and I think that his mistakes seemed like it was instinct, which is not not a great sign. Maybe he needs Josh McCown. He's there with Sam Darnold right it's now. True. Yeah, it's true. I don't know. Once again, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, when it comes to the X's and O's, I do. Just with the gibberish I'm talking about, all right? Making myself look bad. Um, no, they don't care. They're mean in the comments anyway. I'm fuck- yeah. Give Pete the Titans. Pete? I'm uh, a little, little worried. He's taking um, the Jets. A little worried. No, he's not. I don't know, guys. I'm still like on the fence here. Because, like, <laughs> do one end, me. I'm worried about the offense. Like, the first half, I thought I saw some good things. Like, they ran the ball well. Um, Levis did make some good plays, but... Yeah, the second half was just disaster, coaching-wise, special teams-wise, quarterback play-wise. Offensive line was pretty brutal. But, like, that defense, I was watching Rodgers a little bit last night, him holding the ball, um, not a lot of movement out of him either. Really uh, quick, or so, short steps. Yeah, so, with, you know, Sweat and Simmons pushing that pocket back into That's him. A good point. That's like a good it's, point. I, I think it's going to give the Jets some troubles here. The run defense looked pretty good, too, against the Bears. Uh, the Bears started to run outside, and that was working a little bit for them. Um, and I saw that the Jets struggled against man when uh, the Niners went man. Garrett Wilson actually struggled. Legereus Sneed did a pretty nice job against D.J. Moore. D.J. Moore made some really good plays, and Sneed was all over him, and he still made some catches, but still limited the Bears' offense. Um you know, I like I'm leaning towards the Titans. I just don't know if I can trust. You're, the way you're breaking it down is be like this could no, be I, one of those upsets. I think so I, I think it's it. gonna be a close. Another, I think it'd be a close. I think game. it's gonna be a close, low scoring game, kind of like the the Bears the Bears game. I'm just week hoping. two is not much different than week one. There's gonna be weird upsets. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be Patriots Bengals. Do I do it? I'm gonna do it. Give me give me my Titans. He's here. gonna put him right there on the. Let's he's go, the Titan. Let's go, the Titans. I'm the only one. Get everyone on the Jets. <laughs> give me give me Lone over there. Peter. Lone dog in it. Lone Peter. Lone I got Peter. faith. Everyone's. Bashing me. I don't here. know, sir. Mix a lot. Bash you. No, I you, you, no. Act. That's true. No one's you didn't bash me. I had a lot of people text me at halftime, like, "Oh, Titans look look great." Like, and I'm like, "Easy now." Like, it's we still got another half to play. And sir, random went 15 and one last last week. You know what? I forgot to mention. You know you, the one he got wrong. Take a guess. Bears Titans. No. Oh. He's not gonna guess. He picked the Colts to beat the Texans. Oh wow! Was, and he was almost he almost got it. I mean that's pretty yeah. pretty close he, game. I haven't. I don't know if I've seen anyone win the week going fifteen and one. That's or, pretty impressive right there. I definitely no one's went sixteen. It's pretty damn impressive. Pretty damn exp- impressive. I can't expensive. Talk. Expensive. He's gonna be expensive if he keeps doing that. We have to hire him to right. pick. That's what I was trying to say. Um. All right. Oh. Yeah. Welp. Well, the Vikings. The Vikings looked great last week. One of the best teams in football, but it was fun while it lasted, folks. I'm going to take the Niners. The Niners looked like the best team in football last week. But I tell you what, that Brian Flores defense. I know it's not the Giants this week, but it looks pretty good. I know there's probably going to be bad weeks, but it looked pretty good, and uh, they they gave. You know, Purdy probably played his worst game against the Vikings last year. All kinds of problems against them, so they're going to. I think Purdy's better than he was last year, though. He's going to have a solid game. But maybe they'll put some pressure on him. They'll make it tough. They, the Vikings did an all-around good job. I don't think they're going to let Jordan Mason run like he did, uh, you know, unless McCaffrey plays. But uh, I don't think it, it sounds like he may not. Um, he hurt his McCaffrey. Yep, it's true, and it's going to the Achilles. You don't want to, you know. McCaffrey to his Achilles. But it could be close. Sam Darnold revenge game, folks. Oh. Sam Darnold revenge game. But I – for that reason, give me the Niners. <laughs> it was fun last week. If the Vikings win this game, it's really going to go to my head. Uh, no, I don't really get. Are like they winning that. the Super Bowl if they win this game? No, I don't. I don't. I'll be funny about it. But would you go with the Niners? Who said that, Junior? That was me. It's going to get to my head a little bit. Like, okay, like we might be able to get third in the division instead of fourth. No, I'm kidding. Um, I had them getting fourth, but I don't know. Yeah, the Niners are just. They have a just, shot at two, just two, talent, two, three, four, too talented, but. The Vikings are just impressive. Like I love Kevin O'Connell. Like I feel like you could just throw any quarterback in that system and oh, I put he Yeller just makes there. It, Did Yeller take he the He just Niners? makes it 
Mix it up. And, yeah, Old Dillard's going with the Niners. Vikings guy's going with the, with the Niners. And Sir Randy's got the Niners as well. Sir Randy Lott. It also, helps, it also helps to have Justin Jefferson, too. It does. It does. I think the Vikings are just a, a few key pa- pieces away from being. Maybe like a TJ Hawkinson. He's oh, not yeah, back I mean, yet. TJ Hawkinson, get him in there. I think you need another receiver. Aaron Jones looked good, but is it going to last all year? Yeah, a couple defensive pieces, but, man, they're, they're, they're pretty good. they got good coaches over there. If only the franchise quarterback of the future didn't mm. get hurt. Mm. But th- we got Darnie. Darnie. Revenge He's game. Watch it. out for that one. Revenge game. Uh, Niners look like the best team in football last week, I thought. I, you know, over the Saints, over – it was something what they did on Monday night against the Jets. All right, next game. We got the Seahawks and the Patriots. Seahawks had a slop fest, and then they came back and won because the Broncos are slop, it's just straight slop. And then the Patriots beat the Bengals. They looked really good on defense. Looked like a classic Patriots defensive team. And Ramondre Stevenson looked really solid. Uh, this is the thing with this game. I think overall I think the Seahawks are better, but if they play sloppy like they did against the Broncos, which they very well could because the Patriots defense is really solid, they're gonna they're gonna lose this game, uh, you know. But I I but I, something I noticed the Bengals ran the ball fairly well. They just kind of went away from the run. They kind of had to at times, and the Bengals kind of shot themselves in, in the feet, in the foot, foot, in the foot. Uh, I always get mixed up with that, and I say that a lot in too. The feet. They get they get they shot they shot themselves in the feet. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with the Seahawks. I'm not going to fall for the week one magic of the Patriots. I think the Seahawks are the better team, but they cannot be sloppy with the first pass interception by Geno and then two safeties, one on a holding and a one on a – you see that safety on that run? It was like the, sl- the longest run on your own one-centimeter line. It just took forever, and it was a barely a safety. It's like none of that, Seahawks, because you're not going to come back. You could probably come back at the Patriots, though, but it's not the Broncos. Um I mean, yeah, it could be actually. I don't know, uh, but the Patriots will play it safe though. Like if they have a lead like that, I think they'll they'll buckle down, mm, hunker down. They'll hunker down. Give me this. Give me the Seahawks. Okay, uh, shut up. Uh, I'll I, hang I up think, and listen. I think uh, McDonald doing a nice job over there. The defense looks pretty good. I know it's Bo Nix's first game and like rookie quarterback, whatever. But I mean, the scheme looked really well. Uh, I think Woolen's kind of back to. Kind of had a, the rookie year. Yeah, yeah he kind of had, a kind of had it off year last year. I think he's going to be back this year. I think he's going to play really well. I said this before. I said this week one, too. I I, I like the Seahawks a lot um, defensively this year. And, I mean, offensively, they got some weapons, too. So, just want to see if they can put it all together and Geno could uh, be that guy for them. But I got the Seahawks. Geno played well after his couple mess-ups, uh, actually, but just can't have those in this game. Fun story. You brought up Mike McDonald. Just a real quick story. Uh, I made a short not too long ago, YouTube short, and I put the text, the caption, the automatic captions in there, you know, in the software. And I used one that has emojis, but it's all automatic. I, I don't think I can change the emojis for some reason. And when I when it said McDonald, a burger popped up. Nice. I thought that was – yeah, I thought that was nice. All right, I thought you said a farm was going to pop, pop up. Or um, I'm going to take the Seahawks here. He's taking the Seahawks. So everyone's going to Seahawks. Everybody's Seahawks. Wow. Doubting the Patriots after their big, impressive win. Keep Another doubting. guarantee. Come on. Let's mix it up here. Okay. I got the Titans in there. That was might be a mistake, but it's okay. Ooh, yeah, liquid that was IV good. matchup of the week coming right oh, up. Ooh. This this is your liquid IV matchup of the week brought to you by Liquid IV. Code GOAT for 20% off. That stuff makes me feel alive. And your piss clear. And my, yeah, hydrates you. Daniel Jones needs some of that stuff, I think. Needs a lot of it. Uh, I don't know what makes this the liquid IV game of the year, to be honest. Or game of the week. Year? Game of the year. <laughs> week two. <laughs> week two. Is your college worth saying that staff? Like six yard throw, it was a nice throw and with pressure throw in space. But it was a throw of the season. Throw yeah. of the season. The throw of the, of the entire season. That's what he said. <laughs> I mean, this is the game of the entire season. Give yeah. me the Commanders. Um, yeah, this is gonna be terrible. <laughs> it really <laughs> is. Uh, the Giants just looked that shitty last week. You picked them. I did pick them, and it was the worst, one of the worst decisions I've ever made in my life. You Pete? know what? I got a feeling that like, there's always like, there's always like that one team that like all of us have that we just like we, we keep picking like we'll pick for them and they'll lose and we'll pick against them and they'll win Ooh, this is this is your team to start the year I'm going with the Giants here. I literally <laughs> that is like word for word oh my, my like, god I just have this feeling that the Giants look so bad in week one and they're going to look good and I don't know what I don't it know. is I just they're going to uh, look good and we're, I don't know we're probably wrong commanders but. didn't I mean neither team impressed me really but like 
I don't know. Like I thought the Commanders would do a lot more in that game, and they just didn't. I just didn't like. I didn't like the play calling. I on thought offense. I was gonna be by myself. And the defense kind of disappointed with the Commanders too. I thought the defense was actually gonna be pretty. Commanders decent Commanders played year. better than the Giants last week. That's for sure. Uh, but I think, and I, I think, think the Bucks are better than the Vikings too. But I don't think you can base it off. I just got a. I just had a gut. I just feeling. have a feeling. Too. I had a feeling like where everyone's gonna be down on them, like their Panthers level. Even I said that in my I tears think, video the other day. Uh, I had I did tears how each team looked and the bottom tier wasn't it was grades but the bottom tier was not F it was Panthers and I put the Panthers and the Giants in there mm. it was a fun time if you haven't seen it um, I think they're just gonna get the ball to Malik Neighbors it's a bug in my face <laughs> we're recording it. out in the woods we're gonna get uh, it going get, live get, from the woods we're gonna get Neighbors going here. Yeah, that was exactly my thinking too. I think neighbor neighbors was sneaky last yeah, week. He yeah. did Wandale Robinson too. They yeah. were sneaky. Daniel Jones just threw the ball to the wrong team. Did you guys see that he has more touchdowns to the other team than he does to his own team since he signed that contract? That's the, probably the worst stat in the history of football. But I think he does it this week. I think really what you have to do against Commanders is keep uh, Jaden Daniels scrambling in check, which you're not going to completely stop it, but. I don't, I I think Shane Bowen will draw some things up. You know, I mean he's heavy zone coverage defense, and I think that's good for playing a rookie quarterback. I, I think uh, I mean their their rookie safety Newman looked pretty good. Uh, Deontay Banks, I mean he had his hands full. He he was tight in coverage with Justin Jefferson. It's just Justin Jefferson. He didn't have that many I think yards. The Giants defense should be. Um, Dexter Lawrence, Brian Burns be, steps it up. Good. Thibodeau steps up. Their D line is going to win. The Giants yeah. D line and Malik Neighbors will win this game. For the, I'm feeling that too. I'm really feeling it. Yellers uh, got the Commanders, and Sir Randy's got the Giants here. So we're with he the did fifth, have the Giants. Well, the I thought it was me by myself, but I seen his picks and I didn't even know. Um, wow, I'm surprised more of us are on the Giants. Let's go. I really game, thought this is the Liquid IV game of the they year. Knew. Game of the year. Liquid <laughs> IV emailed me. They're like, "Yo, Giants Commanders." Game of the year. Game of the week. I changed it to year, and they somehow knew we were going to split it up. Uh, what's your favorite liquid IV flavor? I think the Ooh. pizza huge liquid IV. I game. like I like the grape. I think the grape's underrated, and I like the the golden cherry as well. I'm a lemon lime all day. Lemon lime. I like that. The fire uh, crack crackers. Oh, the firecracker one. Firecracker. I like the sugar free ones a lot. Um, the grape is sugar free. They have a new sher sherbet sugar free. Uh, sherbet. Code goat percentage off. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. What we what we got? Oh, oh, oh my shit. god. I'm done with the Panthers forever. Like that was just awful. Like. Just terrible. It's week one, though. You no, can't be I'm done. I know, but they... Ugh. You're done, so they you're taking the Chargers, too? They invested in offense, traded away defense, and now their offense still can't do anything, and their defense is terrible now. They're going to get the first you're pick. You're all the way out on the Panthers. They're going to get the first pick in the draft. Bolt up. Bolt up. Um, okay, so like the opposite of the Costco guys? Well, yeah. The, I'm, I all mean, I'm all in on them. Okay. We're all in. All in. All in. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go with the Chargers in this one. They're going to – Harbaugh takes care of business in these types of games where they're just supposed to be the you better him, team. Did you see him hitting Herbert? Yeah, Herbert was, was so like, crazy. Doing what are you doing? He's like, like punching him. <laughs> he, like, he's turned him around. He's such a weirdo. He turned him around just to hit him more. Harbaugh is such a weirdo. Herbert came – he thought he was going in for a hog. Did like, you see uh, the Chargers tweeted his uh, – the coach's game day fit. It had, like, receiver gloves and stuff, yeah. like the polo. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Chargers Twitter account is uh, – it's pretty good. What's the, uh, yeah, master class. Master class. World class, world class. World. Uh, but, yeah, that's a type of game that Harbaugh should win, like going against weaker weak, weaker competition, just kind of just sticking to the game plan. They're going to pound the football. The Panthers lost their best player, Derek Brown, for the year. They're going to pound J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards. They're not going to put too much stress on Justin Herbert, and that will take care of business. Also, Chargers pass rush looked really good last week. They're going to get after Bryce Young, who seems to be god-awful under pressure right now. Hope I hope the kid figures it out. Not just under pressure. Yeah, but it's it's really bad under pressure. But I hope the kid figures it out. Uh, I do think the Chargers' run defense played better than expected last last week, and it probably will be better this year than it, how it looks on paper. But I still wonder about it. So the Panthers could come out pounding the rock. They're at home. You know, what if week one they just forget about it? It's just week one, and they come out playing. It could be a close game. Who knows? But uh, and the Chargers just make a you know. Those extra plays on both sides of the ball, they pound the football, and they win that way. Is everybody going with the Chargers? Yep. I, I can see the Panthers winning, honestly. It's week two. But I just don't know how you possibly could pick 
the Panthers right now. I just I, I I don't know. I don't know how you can do it. So you can't. So uh, there you have it. And a reminder that it's not too late to join our subscribers, Pixley, because the weekly winner gets to be in the video, just like Sir Randy over Sir there. Mix-a-lot. If you win the you Sir, Sir Mix-a-lot. I wanted to say that for some reason. So join that up. Link in the comments. This is a good one. This is a good one. Browns. Mm-hmm. Browns at Jags. The Browns got shellacked last week. Deshaun Watson was awful. Uh, people have some questions about him. You know what's going on. And Can but you get Jameis in there. But their two tackles were out. Wills and Conklin. Will they? Will either be back? We will see. If that could play well, a part. Yeah. The Jags lost Tyson Campbell, their best corner that they paid big money before the season. He is out for this game for for a bit, and that that's tough. And the Jags looked pretty decent in their game. The Browns didn't look good at all. And there's the Jags look pretty decent, but they choked completely. I did not like the way Doug Peterson coached in the second half, like the way he coached the first. Uh, the receivers were dropping balls. Kirk had a brutal drop on a nice throw wide open though, but up by Lawrence and then. Engram wasn't that much involved, and ETN fumbled on the half-yard line, and that game just turned around from there. So uh, I felt like – I don't know why, but once the Jags got, like, down – like, once they had a bad loss last year, they went downhill. Um, so I worry about that, even though they look good for the most part in last game. But And I worry about ty- their cornerbacks with Tyson Campbell out. But I am going to take them. I like the defense. Even with Campbell out, Ryan Nielsen's a really good defensive coach. He's a really good addition. Defense, for the most part, looked pretty good last week. The D-line, the D-line is really solid. They are really good stopping the run. They shut down the run against the Dolphins last week, uh, for the most part, really for the most part. The Browns, that's kind of got to be their game. Run to open up the pass, play action pass, the rollout um, with, with Watson. And the Jags will slow that down with their stout defensive front. So I think that kind of gives them an advantage. But I do like the Browns' defense where this could be a defensive game. But at the same time, I don't like basing things off last year. But I do have to bring up that the Browns' defense, home versus away last year, was night and day. They're much better at home. So they are away in this game. Uh, but So for those reasons, I could see the Browns winning because they're still a talented team on paper and they should be a talented team this be. year. I'm going to take the Jags for those reasons. Um, I'm taking the Jags, but I think we got to start we got to start taking an honest look in the mirror here. we got to start wondering if maybe Deshaun Watson is a better person than he is player. <laughs> um, what? He, oh. he looked awful. Like, I, I, like you said, they were missing some offensive linemen, but still the great quarterbacks can still shine through that. He just looked yeah. terrible. I think he's, I think he's done. I, I, he was so good for the Texans. I don't oh, know what so. happened. Uh, I will say I, I'm not one to make excuses. This isn't an excuse. He's got to play better. Like good quarterbacks find ways. But something that people don't really notice is when teams are down big, they have to like it, they can't. They, it takes away the run. So you're pass, pass, pass every play, and the whole planet, especially the defense, the Cowboys, good. You know Mike Zimmer defense, Michael Parsons led. They know that you are passing for sure. There's no more guessing games. So it makes it way tougher on the tackleless and there was tackles out there but Browns and Deshaun Watson so uh, they had so much it's like they were down they had so much time like yeah. it's not like they com- the run was completely out of the the question it's like they were it was at half and he they threw a lot of, he had a lot of times because of this though but I, I'm not really making excuses it's just it probably looked worse than it needed to be for that but it was going to look bad either way I just I I don't know they they seem just they don't seem on the same page it's just it was just like the offense. I don't know. From the jump, it didn't really look it didn't look smooth at all. Pete. Uh yeah, give me the Jags at home here. Got to be really I all think they, the Jags. Uh, just got to take care of the football here. And then you yeah. win. Yeah, they blew. I mean, they choked. Everybody, us. they choked us. Yeah, everyone's on the Jags here. A lot of those. A lot of those. Uh, another reminder, this year we added a short with us three rapid-fire picks, and even if you watch this, it's still, I think, pretty entertaining. It's a little different. It's not cut up from this video, so I can't wait to do week two's version of this after right after this video. Raiders and Ravens, both oh. 0-1. God, yeah. are we all going to be picking a, this? Something, yeah. something weird's going to happen this week. We're like, There's going to be one crazy well, upset. There always coming. is, but, yeah, it's coming. but man, the – like it could be disappointed this? in the Raiders. Pete might have got it with the Titans. I don't know that. The Raiders disappointed me. I, I mean, the Chargers didn't look that great, but thought the Raiders could do do more than that. They were all playing them for a bit, and then Minshew started getting sacked, and there was fumbles, and yeah. Samir White was pretty disappointing. Uh, but 
Ravens kind of, I mean, besides the Lamar missing some wide open guys here and there and the illegal formations, besides that, the Ravens looked pretty good. I love how they were emphasizing that. I didn't, like, see any of that called on Sunday. I saw it. That's a little bit of it. The worst one was uh, last night. It was a guard, John Simpson, who actually was a Baltimore Raven, that's a coincidence, for the Jets. I usually you see with the tackles, but he was lined up so far back. And when they called it, he was looking at the ref like this, and they showed the replay. He was like the backfield. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but it was like, how, how do linemen – I mean, I guess they were getting away with it for years, which is ridiculous. I like it. I like the new thing. What I don't like is they're a little inconsistent, and they allow false starts still. Um, but I I actually like it. you kind of got to stop, like – these offense line from getting away with things they're not supposed to be getting away with. But the Ravens are the much better team. Uh, the Raiders didn't stop the run too well last week. J.K. Dobbins was running. It was mainly two big runs, but still there were, there was those big runs. Um, so they're going to have to worry about Lamar running and then Derrick Henry running. They're going to get in their own head, and then the Ravens being the better team that they are on both sides of the ball, at home, home uh, opener. That This would be a major shocker yeah. if the I, Ravens lost. I was, I was like uh... – Excited for the Raiders, and then uh, then I realized that Luke Getzey's calling plays over mm. there, and then I just right away I was like, mistakes are made. Mistakes I are made. Didn't even need. To, I knew it was not gonna go in my favor. I mean, if they didn't fumble twice, they they could have won the game. It's true. I like Minshew. I still like their defense mainly because Max Crosby, but and they got some other ball players. But Chuck, Doug. Christian Wilkins. Chuck, How can I forget Doug, about Christian Doug. Wilkins? But uh, I like the tight end duo. Bowers looked pretty good in his first time. That tight ends. Um, a friendly reminder. I'm kidding. I've been doing that. Yeah, I was like, what else I do we kept, got? What I else kept we got going? This is Ooh. a good one. This is a good one. Rams at Cardinals, NFC West battle. The Rams played the Lions really well. They didn't get a chance in overtime. They got dominated in overtime. They didn't get a chance on offense. Uh, who knows what would happen? But they played. For, they played pretty damn well against a really good team, and while being beat up, but they're very beat up. I'm very curious to see. Well, Jackson's still out. He's suspended. Left tackle. Uh, Havenstein, will he be back? They need Rob Havenstein out there. Uh, Steve Avila, Avia, their, their second-year uh, interior offensive line from TCU, who looks pretty solid, he is out. Uh, we already knew Darius Williams, their corner, was out going into the year. Uh, now Puka Nakua is on short, short-term IR, so it's tough out there for them. But they still played well. Stafford was awesome, besides the interception at the end of the half. Um, you know, If he didn't do that, maybe they win the game. Did you see like the end zone camera? That guy looked like he was oh blending in. Yeah, because the blue, about that. that bright blue yeah. in the end zone, and then the guy it looked like he was Boise like, State yeah. action right there. A little bo- we're gonna start calling the Lions Boise State. I love those uniforms. The Lions might have the best uniforms yeah, in football. Nice. Every time I see them, I'm like, ooh, ooh, Whoa. get all ting- <laughs> you're, you're even get wearing all, Lions blue right get now. Get all tingly. No, it's lighter in this. I like it's like the perfect blue. It's just the perfect, mm. the perfect blue. Perfect. Blue. Um, but. Oh, upset alert st- gave me the Cardinals. Upset alert. I don't know who's favored, but I'm guessing it's yeah, not. Yeah, I was going to say, fun fact for you, the Cardinals are favored by one point right now. I think it, really? it yeah. opened with the Rams favored. Wow. Uh, injuries. This one's tough because I don't love the Cardinals' defense. We, we saw that. Uh, I don't love it on paper because you Ajilari hurt, but we saw it against the Bills. The Bills were just romping on them. Uh, but they just had a problem stopping Josh Allen running the ball. The Rams do not have that at quarterback, but they have a really good running back in Kyron Williams. I do think Stafford and Cup, Kyron Williams could light. Yeah, Kyron light, lit up the Cardinals last year. The Cardinals struggle stopping a run. I think they're a little better stopping a run than they were last year. They should be, but it's not much of a difference. So that's the issue. If the Rams come out pounding the ball, uh, like one of the meetings last year, they will win the game with Kyron Williams and Kyron Williams only, even with all those injuries. Uh, but just something in their – in. Uh, in their blood, in McVay's blood, they just insist on throwing, and they have so many injuries. And the Cardinals, I like the way Murray looked. Marvin Harrison Jr. did not look good besides when he was open. What and are you Murray feeling in your gut, though? My, I'm, my gut is Marvin Harrison shows up big time. The Rams just have too many injuries. Cardinals at home. I will take Arizona. This was the toughest game to pick this week for me. The toughest one. I think second would be the Giants, Commanders, and our Bills, Dolphins. Those two next. This is the toughest one. Pete I got, was saying that. I got, I got not, fire in my gut. Oh. Give me. The Cardinals. Oh wow! If the Rams weren't so beat up, like if Havenstein comes back, I like that's that could be it, honestly. But Puka out, Darius Williams, if you love, you know all these guys. Uh, okay. We got Rams for uh, Yeller and Sir Randy. Okay, Sir, we're, mix we're it up a lot. There we go. It. We're feeling it in here. That's a good split. 
another game of the week. That one's not brought to you by Liquid IV, though. But no. but the channel is because it's code GOAT for 20% off, the best mm. stuff on the planet. Mm. Um, we should be getting Dan's picks. Everyone's like, where's Dan at? Uh, Dan is actually for the next uh, next match up here. Dan has always been a huge Steelers That's guy. That's actually true. Even Me though he's a Bears Dan fan. Dan taking the Steelers. Dan will put Dan, we still have Dan. But what about the altitude, up, though? Up the, the altitude is a factor, but I'm still <laughs> taking the Steelers and Dan. He wanted he wrote. You guys in. are just Justin Fields guys. Yeah, that's what it is. No, I mean Dan's always been a Steelers guy. I feel what like is, Steelers, what is Steelers, if Dan on? were to rank his favorite football teams, I it would be. We know it's the Bears. Then it'd be the I think it's the Steelers. Who would you think would be three? Because it's never been talked about. He's never actually said Steelers are my second favorite team. Mm -hmm. I think we just deep down we know it. I think he would go with the Titans. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think. Um, We'll have to think about that. I think that. he'd be a Bills guy. Bills? Yeah, just give me the Bills. That seems me. about right, actually. I think it's pretty good. You know what? The, give me the Broncos with the altitude here. Sick and tired of the Steelers. Like the steel, I might the Steelers. He's, the Steelers just altitude. piss me off every year because like this is the same stuff that happens. Like I feel like they always have the the easiest schedule. Well, the Falcons for some weren't reason. that easy. It looked like it, but it's not supposed to be. And they always just get away with winning these close games, and I just don't think it's going to happen here. I don't know. I'm going with the Broncos. I think the Broncos kind of. I mean the Seah I think the Seahawks defense is legit. I, I already said this. I think the Steelers. And I think the Steelers defense <laughs> is legit, but I don't think they're. I don't think their defensive. I don't think their secondary is. Is not yeah, a, I don't know if the defense is that. I don't think it's going to be TJ that They Watt. Good. They got Alex Highsmith. I get they got Cam Hayward. I get that. They got better at linebacker. Yeah. Patrick Queen. And they have Patrick Queen, but I just don't think the secondary even compares. Patrick. I don't think it even compares to the Seahawks secondary. Yeah, I think teams will kind of figure out how to throw on them that, like quickly. They're going to dink and year. dunk. They're going to get it out quick. This is the Broncos' game plan. This is what Sean Payton That's wants Bo Nix to do. They're going to get point. the ball out of his hands. And I, I like the Broncos. I think it's going to be a close game, though. The Bron it's going to be a squeaker. Uh, I meant yeah. to do Commanders, Giants, yeah. a squeaker. But Give me a squeaker here. I was gonna Broncos and a squeaker. Um, you made some good points because I think if you get the ball out quick, that's how you beat the Steelers' defense. And the, the Sean Payton, the Broncos, Knicks, they're going to be dink and dunk experts. I mean, I don't know if we mentioned it, but it needs to be talked about more. The altitude oh, is yeah. an a actually a big thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. Like – so the Broncos do have that home field advantage. They create turnovers on defense. We saw it in the Seahawks game, and the Steelers got Justin Fields starting again. I'm not a believer in Justin Fields, really. I know he won the first game. That you know they didn't score a touchdown. Uh, but after all, saying all of that, I am still going to take. It's my class. That's a classic. Classic. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the Steelers. The Broncos could win for all those reasons I explained there. Uh, at home, dink and dunk, but. Steelers' defense is too good right now. I think teams will start to figure it out. Not that it'll like go away south. It's still going to be really good, but it's not going to be the the elite, insane defense we saw like in Week One every week. But I saw the Broncos allowed the most, uh, the worst uh, pass rush win rate. They had the worst pass block win uh, win rate. Uh, you know, I don't think they have the worst offensive line football, but it seems that way so far. You're going against T.J. Watt. You're going against Cam Hayward, Keanu Benton. These guys. Um, so I didn't know I have a plan for Bo Nix. Bo Nix looked really bad last week. Also, Broncos defense creates turnovers, and they have maybe the best corner in football, but they cannot stop the run. Steelers are going to pound at Najee Harris, and they'll use Warren, but they use Najee Harris way more than <clears throat> Warren. People were starting to think they're going to use Warren more. Not so fast. And Justin Fields will run as well. I don't think he throws well in this game, but he will run well. So the matchup, even though there's altitude, matchup says Steelers with their defense, they find a way to win this game. It would probably be a squeaker. Pete already took it, though, so we'll probably find another one. Too bad. And I got some breaking news. Oh. Breaking news. I texted Dan to power rank his top three NFL teams. Oh. He has no idea what's going on here, and he gave me uh, Bears, Bears, Broncos. <laughs> Which is the weirdest thing because yeah. the right, Steelers get Dan are over there. playing get Dan over there. the Broncos. We thought for sure he was a Steelers guy. And I just t texted him back and said, no Steelers, and he has not responded. So oh, you were, He probably has no idea what you're talking about. I have no idea what made him be a Broncos guy. And he, he actually finished the text with, have always had respect for the Broncos. Okay. I don't, I don't know when that what started. That but <laughs> What does that mean? But he's always had respect get, for uh, Get Yeller and Sir Randy over with. Dan and I on the Broncos. It's just wow. me and Junior with TJ Watt and the boys. Wow. Thanks, Pete. That's a free one. It's a free. No, I don't know. It's not look free. At all, look at everyone else over here at the Broncos. Yeah, that guy did go 15-1. and one. Come on. Dan's a liar. Yeah, Dan lied. I don't, Dan, liar. I don't know what Dan's doing. I don't know what he's talking he's about. He's always been a Steelers guy. Yeah. He probably totally forgot. 
You saw those concussions. He needs to be here. He needs to, if he, was he had here. to medically retire from Pickums because all those concussions. It's now it's we're seeing it's affecting him. Bengals, oh. Chiefs. <laughs> we got we got to go back. We got to go back. We got. He actually corrected it. He said <laughs> Bears, Steelers, Broncos. <laughs> oh <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> A huge good. Antoine Randall out guy is what I got here. <laughs> so he, he's taking the Steelers. That's what he said here. Huge Antoine Randall. He forgot out. about the Steelers. So yep, sorry, we had to just get that. I mean, out they there. had Mitch for a while, and then, then mm-hmm. now they got Justin Fields. Come on. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> How does he forget? This one, I mean, looking at that, what's on your screen like, right now? You're like Bengals. So you always got the Chiefs number. It looks good, man. This looks like an AFC heavyweight battle, and it can be down the stretch. The Bengals always start slow. They always lose week one. They figure it out, uh, and the Bengals usually get them, except for, I guess, when it mattered the most uh, the last time. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not just a week one thing. The Bengals has always looked like shit early in the season. They're going to Kansas City. Mm. The Chiefs are better. I, I – Something different with the Bengals compared to their really good years is the run defense. It is, and last year was bad too, but it, it but they were beat up last year, so that wasn't one of their really good years. The run defense is awful. I know the Chiefs aren't like the biggest run team, but they're going to take advantage of that. They're going to pound Pacheco. That run defense is bad, and they start bad. I, I don't hate the Bengals. I almost said I hate the Bengals right now. I don't hate the Bengals at all. I hate. Tell us how you really And I don't hate players. I don't hate any players. I hate this, like, what, I don't know how to say it. I hate what's going on. It feels like T. Higgins is hurt. He needs a new contract. Jamar Chase wasn't practicing. An illness popped up and because he doesn't have a contract, because he didn't get his contract. I know he played. These guys do not care about what it feels like. I'm not going to say fact. They don't care about what's more important right now. That's what it feels like, okay? I hate it. I hate it. I want everybody to be great. I want the Bengals to be great. You know, I it just everybody love everyone. Everyone love Give me everyone. The Chiefs. Give them the Chiefs. I think everyone's taking the Chiefs. After that week one performance. And what if the Bengals won? Wouldn't be surprised. They're really totally here, but Whoa. just because they yeah. just because they uh, had some success against the Chiefs recently. But I don't know. It seems like a different different Bengals team right now. Different vibe over there. Different. Not like good. That's, that's the word. Not good. Do you Five. think they love football? I, I think, yeah. I Do you think they have any players that don't love football? I think they love football. They love money more. Yeah, but that – Give me monies. Give if me you're monies. a football player, you got to love football more than you love anything else. They're not gelling. That's what it is. They're just not gelling. There's no gelling at all whatsoever. I'm pumped about this next one. You already know. Me and Dan, we're taking the Bears oh, on the road. So, and in Sunday night football, right. Bears, Texans. You don't let me do my intro. You cut Sorry. right in front of me. I just had to. I was excited. I saw it on the thing. Junior I, got the Bears last week. Dan got the Bears last week. I don't know if we threw them up there, but we got it's a tradition. Dan's, they're Bears guys. Yeah. Yeah. Fun story. Uh, I think I've told it before. Me and Dan went to the Bears game. Dan has season tickets. Ran into somebody that recognized us. He wanted a picture, and I don't know. I expected him to post. Not that he needed to. I expected him to post a picture somewhere. I was like, so I can retweet it, you know. And I, I never saw it. I'm worried that he posted it, and I look like an asshole. But I don't think he ever posted it. I think he just took that picture and saved it for tub time. <laughs> tub time. I was literally going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was a hundred percent. I planned it all out. I was going to say the Sorry, exact. I words. stepped on. I stepped on your line. We just got too much of the same humor out here. Saved I stepped on your line. <laughs> um, well, okay. Oh, I'm taking the God. Texans. Come on. What do you mean, come on? Come on. What do you mean, come on? Bears. Special teams. Bears defense. Special love the defense, defense. Love Jalen Johnson. Uh, the linebacker duo is great. Uh, Eberflus a really good defense. Coach, special teams look good. What Pete, was it more Titans got shit special teams or I, Bears got really good? I don't know. Titans special teams look good in preseason, but. I thought you knew they were going to be bad. No, I thought they were, I no. thought they were going to be better. Okay. They're always bad. But then they got new coaches this year. They kept the same guy ar- around forever. Here's the thing. Besides the point that the Texans are home in prime time and they're a lot better, it's a serious contender. It's not all about being a lot better, but just being better, especially in week two. But, yeah, Bears got a really good defense. And they got Jalen Johnson could be the very best corner in football. We got Derek Stingley on the other side. But uh, 
how do you account for all those damn weapons? Oh, my God. That's like your main concern, even if you're a really good pass defense. And the Bears didn't stop the run too well last week. And Joe Mixon went crazy against a good, who typically is a good run defense last week. So you have to you have to worry about so much here. I don't think the Texans score a lot of points. I don't think they have nearly the production they had last week because the Bears defense is legit. But they're going to move the ball. They're going to score points. While the Bears' offense is still a work in progress, now I do think, I don't want to base it all off last week because I do think the tight Titans' defense is a lot better than people think, but Texans' defense is really good. D'Amico Ryan's is a, ma- a master game planner, almost said something else. Uh, so I think that he gets the job done as well here. So I, I think it's a bad match for the Bears. That's what I'm getting stole, to. He stole it all. all yeah, it? I, I, think, uh, I think the Bears... We'll do. Mo- I, think, I think they'll score an offensive touchdown this week. Oh, they better. Maybe just I, I one. So maybe just one. All my score predictions tomorrow. It'll be, it'll be lower uh, scoring here. I think maybe they'll get two. Maybe, but uh, yeah, I think D'Amico Ryan's will have a good game. Kick plan. return, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, DeAndre Carter looked pretty good. He's nice. Um, That's why yeah. you get him. That's why you get those guys. And they got C.J. Stroud at home. I think Caleb throws a pick this game, but I do think he gets a touchdown. I think he – I'm actually going to get a little bull. I think he runs one in. Ooh. I, just, I don't know why I think that. I think it. Um, Texans and Texans here. Yeah, that was – yeah. This would be a surprise, too. Not quite the Ravens Raiders, but – Yeah. <laughs> Not for you guys. Not for me. Not for you. Not for Dan. Week two, anything can happen. Anything can happen. All right. And a friendly reminder, we're going on to the final game. Okay. Monday night football. Ooh. We really got through these already. Well, it's 51 minutes. Falcons, Eagles, that the battle of the birds on Monday night football. The Falcons looked bad. Their defense looked all right. They looked bad against the Steelers, but Kirk Cousins always has like one of those games early in the year, and he had to kind of click click in, link in. I keep, I've said that before, click in. I meant link in uh, with this offense. They're going to get Drake London going. Bijan's going to get going. The Eagles' defense didn't look – they were giving up like a lot of yards after catch, yards after contact, a little sloppy. It was on that sloppy field, though. So the Falcons definitely – they're going to – they're gonna kick it in the gear at some point. It could be this week. I don't think it's this week, though. I think. Well, I think there's a there's gonna be more offense. They're for sure gonna have more offense this week. Uh, you know, they don't have T.J. Watt out there. For sure gonna have more offense. But Eagles in Philly, one of the toughest places to play on Monday night. There is a streak of Kirk Cousins playing in Philly <laughs> in week two on in primetime football. Look at the Vikings and the Eagles. They, every year for the last, I think this is the third or fourth year straight, and the Eagles shellac them. Every time Kirk actually played a really good game last year, but they make sure they get after him. Uh, he's still maybe trying to get back in, into his groove after the Achilles injury. I actually think we have some scoring in this game. I, I think, uh, but I'm going to trust the Eagles. At if this was an ATL on Monday night, it might be a little <laughs> interesting. In what? the ATL, this was in he's ATL. To Atlanta is the ATL. This yeah. is ATL, man. Uh, no, this one's in Philly, man. <laughs> uh, we're going Eagles. I'm taking the Eagles too. I think that uh, Hurts can't have those turnovers. So those are can't those hurt. Uh, I hurt. think that uh, like we all year we're going to be talking about teams gelling because the there's you took the Eagles. Yeah, you took the Eagles. Uh, there's we're talking about teams gelling because there's a lot of new faces and new places. And I think that nice, nice. I agree with you that the Falcons will get going. They will, not yet, but they will. So give me the Eagles. Yeah, I think I agree. I think. Uh, Falcons got a lot of weapons on offense. I just don't think they're they're gelling yet. Prime time Kirk Cousins. What are those, what are those guys going? Eagles. Everyone's Eagles here. Everyone Eagles. Guarantee it. Well, I did it again. The graphics guy did it again. There we go. Junior just keeps getting covered up. It's okay. It's all right. I don't know why I'm slouching so much. Figure it out. Um, all right. There you have it for the bird picks. Uh, oh, bird. Got, bird game on. Bird, prime time on Kirk Monday. Cousins in a different uniform. How does it go? Uh, I don't know. I can't wait for buy teams. So Pete gets – I think we said this last time, but I can't wait for that. I always can't wait. Uh, anything else? Any other zingers for me, for us? <laughs> zingers. zingers. Any zingers? You ever had a zinger? What? Those little uh, – I don't even know what that is. Yeah, forget it. It's like a Twinkie kind of thing. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I yeah. think I've had one. It's pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty Decent. nice. Decent Don't be eating too many of those. You'll look like you'll actually be the size of Matt Patricia. No, no, I, I won't. Okay, I won't good. do that. Because we don't want to. You don't want to. Because right now, I think we could fit how many of you inside of his belly? You could probably, pop, uh, probably fit three and a half of me. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a quarter. Three and a half. One He's of, huge. Yeah, I'm so, not. So they think they. 
in the comments, I'm guessing they just think you look like them. It's not really the size of you, so you shouldn't take it too personally. I think personally. it's just like the beard and the and the hat and the headset. Is it yeah, the, the headset like, doesn't like, have, yeah. like your... Isn't the look of him his size? No, his face, style. I don't want to have his style. No, oh, I'm shaving tonight. Shaving. Well, okay. Uh, next, check out our short rapid fire picks. We got a lot of new shorts coming out. We had a lot of content covering last week, recapping it and covering this upcoming week, power rankings and a lot more. So check it out. Make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. You will not regret it. Join us next Tuesday night. We'll be here picking every game every single week. That is going to do it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I thought you were waiting for us. Yeah, I was waiting for you. Goodbye. There we go.